Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. We're on uh, Circular Reasoning Part 2, uh, True Forms, uh, dot WordPress, and we're looking at uh, Cornelius Van Til's book, The Survey, a Christian Epistemology, page 173 to 174. And uh, he, he says, the thing that has gradually shown itself to be of momentous importance is this fact that all reasoning in the field of knowledge must take into consideration the difference between those whose concept and those who reject Christian theism. Whatever method we employ, we will have to figure from the outset with the dif this difference. No longer how I may obtain knowledge of some object with which I come in contact, nor is it only the question of how I may impart that knowledge to my fellow man in general. The question is rather how I may impart the knowledge that I have to that I have to those who by virtue of their opposition have no true knowledge and yet think they have. Something of this was brought out when we said that God's knowledge of himself and God's knowledge of the facts of the universe must be the standard of, of knowledge. God is completely self conscious and therefore knows himself and all things analytically. That is God's thoughts complete coherent keeping this in mind we may say that if we are to have coherence in our thinking it will have to be a coherence that corresponds to God's coherence according our coherence will never be completely inclusive in the way that God's coherence is completely inclusive our coherence will be no more than analogy or the, co or the coherence of God yet because it is based upon God's coherence it will be true knowledge our coherence can constantly grow in comprehensiveness, but it cannot grow in truthfulness. Those that have the least knowledge have true knowledge just as well as those that have the greatest knowledge, if only their knowledge is truly analogical, i.e. based upon the knowledge that God has of himself and of the world. If this fundamental point is not forgotten, we can speak in the ordinary epistemological language. We may then say that we employ the methods of analysis and synthesis. What we mean by synthesis is not that which uh, Bosanquet means by synthesis when he says that reality is essentially synthetic. Our conception of God maintains that the reverse of that. But for us the time series brings forth that which is new for us. Accordingly we have to synthesize the new facts with the old facts. Uh, then when we need once more to see what the new facts thus related to the old facts together reveal about God and reality in general. In this respect, the process of knowledge is a growth into the truth. For this reason, we have spoken of the Christian theistic method as the method of implication into, into the truth of God. It is reasoning in a spiral fashion rather than in a linear fashion. Accordingly, we have said that we can use the old terms deduction and induction if only we remember that they must be thought of as elements in this one process of implication into the truth of God. If we begin the course of spiral reasoning at any point in the finite universe as we must because that is the proximate starting point of all reasoning, we, we can call the method of implication into the truth of God as transcendental method. That is, we must seek to determine what presuppositions are necessary to any object of knowledge in order that it may be intelligible to us. It is not as though we to begin with, irrespective of the existence of God in order then to reason from such a beginning to further conclusion. It is certainly true that if God has any significance for any object of knowledge at all, the relation of God to that object of knowledge must be taken into consideration from the outset. It is this fact that the transcendental method seeks to recognize. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Um, it's kind of gone off for some reason. I can't. A little bit uh, frustrating. Uh, something wrong with, with the computer. Um, 
I think that um, I think Okay, um, computer went down uh, for a minute then. So we'll just finish the reading of Van Til. Even in paradise, it was God's verbal self disclosure and the disclosure of his will for man's activity in relation to the created cosmos that was indispensable for man's ability to do and identify any fact and to relate any fact properly to any other fact. Applying this to the scripture, it is but put neutral, but neutral that we should accept the scripture testimony about itself. If we did anything else, we would not be accepting scripture as absolute. The only alternative then to bring in a God who testifies of himself and upon whose testimony we are wholly independent is not to bring in God at all, and not to bring in God at all spells nothing in that case knowledge may be said to be reduced to the pass of drawing circles in a void and we must return the charge of circular reasoning to those who made it on the other hand we are happy to accept the charge of circular reasoning our reasoning frankly depends upon the revelation of God whose reasoning is within the internal circularity of the three persons of the Trinity it is only if we frankly depend on the validity of our reasoning upon this internal circular reasoning and the triune God that we can escape tr trying in vain to reason in circles in a vacuum of pure contingency. So basically he's, he's using the Trinity um, as a way of showing that circular reasoning is valid within the Christian system and it is not valid in the skeptical uh, system. I think what he's trying to say is, is that if the universe start you start to reason and use logic and argument and whatever how do you account for your circular reasoning within that world view and it's inconsistent it doesn't make sense whereas if you presuppose the Bible and you have the Trinity the Trinity means that the universe did not start by chance it start started by uh, relationship and therefore reasoning is within that sphere of the universe a universe that was created by a trying God who is for relationships so reasoning is not in a vacuum reasoning has its purpose it has its function uh, given to it where uh, and its explica and its explanation so I think that's what can uh, Van Til is saying. Um, please let me know uh, if you disagree or agree. Thank you for listening. Van